Looking for ways to use your sourdough starter or its discard? We're going to be making spiced vegan sourdough waffles today. Hello, I'm Wendy from the blog, themountainfarmhouse.com, and welcome. This is the Mountain Farmhouse, where we cook, clean, create, and cultivate and enjoy country living. So today we're going to be making something with our sourdough starter. Sourdough is a very economical ingredient. You have the natural occurring yeast that you don't need to buy cakes or packages of yeast to use in your baking or in some of your other culinary creations. These waffles we make on a pretty regular basis. They're so good. Why save them just for special occasions, right? So I hope that you will enjoy this recipe and let me know if you do try it, how you like it. Oh, and did I say, did I mention it's vegan? To make these vegan spiced sourdough waffles, you're going to start with one cup of your sourdough starter. Now, you can use either the uh, fed or the discard. I like to use the discard in this recipe because I don't like to waste things and this helps prevent too much waste. Next, we're going to make some vegan buttermilk. This is almond milk in this two cup measure and we're just going to add a couple of teaspoons of apple cider vinegar to that and give it a little stir and I'm going to set this aside just for a minute or two. Next we're going to add a tablespoon or two of this is coconut sugar. It has a lower glycemic index than regular sugar, but you could use cane sugar if you wanted to. Get that mixed up a little bit. And then after that, we've got two cups of all-purpose flour. You could use gluten-free flour or a whole grain flour or pastry flour, whatever you prefer. So I'm gonna get that stirred just a little bit. And now I think that our vegan buttermilk is ready. So, here it is, and we're going to pour it in like so, and it curdles a little bit, just like real buttermilk, <laughs> and that gives it that nice consistency that we're looking for. Now I'm going to get this stirred up, and then we're going to cover it and let it sit for around 12 hours. You can set this up the night before you're going to have waffles for breakfast or you could set it up in the morning if you're going to have waffles say for um, a dessert after supper. Maybe you like to have breakfast food for supper and you could eat the waffles at dinner time. So whatever you prefer to do. This makes a really nice uh, waffle that you can also freeze the extras if you can't eat them all in one sitting. When you finish stirring everything together, it should have kind of a smooth consistency. A little bit of lumpiness is okay. But uh, now it's time to get it ready to cover. Now we're just going to cover it with a cloth and let it set for about 12 hours. All right, 12 hours has passed, and now 
we have this nice bubbly sponge that's going to be the base of our waffle batter. But first, we need to make flax eggs, two of them. This is two tablespoons of flax seeds and six tablespoons of warm water. So we pour that in there and then take a spoon, mix it up so that everything gets combined. And what will happen is it'll form this kind of a gel-like consistency similar to what eggs are like. Now this just has to sit for a little bit and so we'll keep that over here for the time being. Now let's finish making the waffle batter. First, this is about a quarter cup of melted coconut oil. So we pour that in there. And then we have one teaspoon of baking soda and a half teaspoon of pink Himalayan salt. You can use whatever type of salt you prefer. Put that. And then I have about two teaspoons of pumpkin pie spice. You could use apple pie spice or a combination of cinnamon, cloves, um, ginger, nutmeg, any or all of the above. All spice works. So we're going to stir this and then I want to add in the flax eggs. You see how they kind of got gooey and slimy? That's what you want. You want them to have a similar consistency to eggs and they come out just tasty and delicious. So we're going to stir this together. And we'll be able to make our waffles in a minute. All right, now we're going to take a little bit of this melted coconut oil and brush the waffle iron with it. Then, here's our lovely batter. It's all fluffy. That's from the yeast in the sourdough. It has a really nice consistency. Take a half cup measure or whatever your waffle maker's instructions say to use. And mine has the green light. So I can put a half cup of the batter in there. And then close the lid. And we wait until the green light comes back. It turns red for now and it will turn green again. And then we'll have our waffle. The light is green again. Well, there it is. It's coming off pretty easily. So, here is our fresh waffle. Vegan sourdough spiced waffle. For the link for the original blog post, as well as a free printable of this recipe, visit themountainfarmhouse.com. I will leave a link below in the description box. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Enjoy your waffles. Bye for now.